Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to utilize the MQTTN node within Node-RED to receive messages from IoT Core. This will allow us to perform actions to our flow based on messages received from AWS, such as potentially stopping a device when it gets too hot, for instance. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, if you click on Publish to a Topic here within the AWS IoT console, we'll see right here, you can see a topic name, and let's just go ahead and set this topic name to Cloud and Messages. We'll just call it Cloud slash Messages, just like so. And we'll just keep Message Hello from AWS IoT Console, just like that which is perfectly fine. And of course, right now, it's not going anywhere. Publishing does not have anywhere to go. It just sends it nowhere. So let's go ahead and give it somewhere to send this message. So click back on Node Red. And as you can see, if we type MQTT up here in the filter, you'll get MQTT in. So go ahead and drag that in. And what we're going to do is we're going to pipe this to another debug mode so we don't get them confused. Just like so. Connect those two. Going to clear the debug that's up here so far. And in our debug node, I'm going to name it from AWS, just like so. And then I'm going to double click on my MQTT node. We need to set this one up. As you can see, our server, since we only had one, is already chosen for us, AWS IoT, and that carries the TLS configuration and everything, so we don't have to do that again. So what I need to do next, if you take a look in the console here and click on additional configuration, you'll see we have a choice for quality of service. Now, for the most part, AWS is incredibly reliable, so zero is usually okay, but you can change it to one if you'd like. And then back in Node Red, for the topic, we're going to choose Cloud Messages, since that's the topic we chose, and QoS of 1, just like so. Let's go ahead and click on Done and Deploy. As you can see, we are connected, so now is the moment of truth. Let's head back over and click on Publish, just like so. Head back to Node Red and look at that. We now have a hello from AWS IoT console, just like we sent right here. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. Everything is working. So that's it for this very quick lesson. Go ahead and mark this lesson complete. Come on back to the next one and let's continue building out our deployment.